Hey, welcome. I'm Ellie. I thought it might be useful to do an overview, like my thoughts a week after having built the Main Street Building Lego Friends set, because this is such a, I mean, a monumental building for the Lego Friends theme. It's the first time we've had such a big set. First time we have had a modular style set like this for the 10 year anniversary. This is not the 10 year anniversary set. And because it was so detailed, I split it into three parts for the build. Yeah, I wanted to come back and readdress a lot of the stuff, obviously, that I have babbled about while I was actually building it. But yeah, just having another look at the set in retrospect. I mentioned this is the biggest set to date, so 1,682 pieces, which of course comes with a similar price tag. Uh, there are a few different ways, in fact, multiple ways that you can configure this set once it's built. This way with the corner, with that rounded corner piece on the front looks amazing, but it's unplayable on the back. And you can set it up in a line and put the rounded bit on the end, so as the corner piece. And this looks, this is, makes it playable both on the front and the back, but it also is going to take more space on your display shelf. Uh, but it looks amazing! How good does that look? Oh my gosh, I was going to try and be like circumspect for the copy. And there's even a space in the front to put the skateboard ramp which is really really cool everything's been thought of here now I was just wondering if because actually now that I've said that I cannot fit this by you can see where the bicycle rack is it's it's pushing up now against the chair maybe if I if I put it here the bicycle rack is then uh, but that's gonna be in the way then if I put the skateboard ramp in front of the grocery store so I can't figure out the best way to do this, setting it up in a line. So the way I think that it's designed to be displayed is with that rounded piece in the middle. I mean, you can move stuff around a bit or space it out. Maybe, I don't know. I just think that that's a bit of, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I can't figure out what it is that I'm doing wrong. Welcome to my world. But I love the fact that you can offset them. So you offset them a little bit so they all line up at the back when they're like this. Looks so cool from the front, but as mentioned, that it's it's unplayable at the back in this in this configuration. Anyway, let's have a look at each of the rooms individually. They're actually designed so that you can move them around. Uh, you can take these, no, hold on. <laughs> what am I thinking? I built this and I've even forgotten that there's no jumper studs on the top of this. So the yellow <laughs> the yellow room is all one box, as is the pink room. <laughs> awesome at this. <laughs> Let's have a look at the bottom floor. So the bottom levels are all commerce buildings, shops. And, and in this instance, this one is a book cafe. There's a really innovative little uh, bike stand here on the corner. I love the book sign. <laughs> and there is one book included. That's it. Very cute little romance novel, which would fit into any Lego city. That was quite generic looking. As is the bookshop sign. Uh, coffee and books which I just love it reminds me of something but I can't figure out what and the wheelchair ramp is a fabulous inclusion because there are there's there's mini doll there's Harper here in the wheelchair she uh, fi is finding it a bit, bit bit of a struggle to get up with all of the clutter that I've put here on the front walkway but these new double doors for the six wide door is just, they're, it's fantastic and it means a wheelchair can get through and even though it's really cozy in here I'll take off the wheelchair ramp we'll have a look at that sorry the wheelchair uh, lift we'll have have a look at that in a minute. Uh, there's still room inside here for, for the wheelchair, which is really great. So this is the inside of the coffee shop slash bookshop. I love the bookshelf sticker. It adds a lot of character and detail to this build, though there are no physical books in the actual bookshop. Lots of cafe stuff, including a really good coffee machine build, which I loved. The next level up is predominantly pink, which is a bit garish at first sight, but it's actually matched with black and white, which is a really good mix. Now this is an apartment bedroom. I'm not sure who it belongs to, but I'm assuming it's Harper, the girl in the wheelchair. She's got a black and white bedspread on her bed, which is a really nice build. All of these furniture pieces, by the way, are designed to be popped out. You can move them around and re yeah, redecorate however you want in these rooms. So nothing is fixed in position. Well, yes, yeah, some things are fixed in position, but not the main furniture pieces. It's basically just the walls. Very, very nice little balcony out here. Just enough room for a mini doll to stand there. I love the offset big window too in blue and I mean the colors are all insane but for some reason somehow they work together next level up is also it's kind of a match to the one downstairs with the balcony on the alternate side of the wall the balcony is perfect to have the little orange kitten hanging out this orange kitten is turning up in a lot of sets at the moment there are trans pink and trans orange pieces adding oh, pops to the walls but predominantly it is 
yellow up here but you can actually swap these floors over just by taking the foliage off the top so as I discovered when I was trying to pull all this apart they don't have detachable roofs but you can just move them around as boxes now the windows on the side are odd there's turquoise windows offset with pink and orange translucent pieces it's weird but it works and I don't know how <laughs> so inside here we have got a chair uh, which you cannot actually sit a mini doll in uh, I tried that while I was building it couldn't do it can't figure out why all of these pieces of the furniture are detachable so this is a room for or an office space for a graphic artist and it's actually designed to be able to fit Harper in here in the wheelchair that's the story that goes with this room but of course with it, the, the stories are pretty open-ended you can make this be whatever you want now this is the lift for the wheelchair there's no stairs there's no elevator in this build that would have blown blow on the price budget like right out I'm sure but they have included the designers have included a wheelchair lift it's really dinky because you've got spaces where it will actually stop at each floor and it's really it's it's beautifully designed it's nice and smooth when you build it correctly I had a bit of a problem <laughs> with that that was me it was all on me I fixed it figured it out and it stops at each floor perfectly lined up with each floor so that Harper can get out on each floor so it's really really great detail really important too okay on to the next flat sided building down on the bottom is a hairdresser's salon it's actually a beauty shop it's got just knocked off the lamp it's got these new double door pieces again with the wheelchair access which is really nice I love the fact that we're tiled all at the front it looks beautiful but I would like some jumper studs because you can't put any the mini dolls on there without them just falling over the minute you put them on it looks great but you try and move it just a little bit and they just fly off so as much as I like it smooth I'd really like to be able to stabilize the characters too now we've got holes in the side to put the buildings together holes at the back to put the wheelchair access ramp on and in here so we've got the beauty shop sticker the beauty shop font is actually exactly the same as the butterfly beauty shop right back from the very inception of the Lego friends theme so there's a there's a few little cute little Easter eggs in here so we got everything in here that you need for a beauty shop it's not super kitted out but it's got everything yeah it's got what you need and once again you can pop all of this furniture off and rearrange it to who however you want it to be so next level up is a predominantly blue box this is a small child bedroom it's really adorable got a massive sliding door I hate to think about the workplace health and safety on this <laughs> with a small child being in the room but anyway like the really big sliding door uh, there's a little bit of external decoration here which is I don't know it just stops it from being a big blue box I think it does work on the inside you can see a rainbow wall which is I think a hint for other things but apart from that it's just a fabulous decoration got a packing box which hasn't been unpacked yet because according to the, the pictures it looks like they're just moving in a very cute little bed with a pink cloud bedspread there's a teddy there is a doll's house and there's a little car over on the buildable mat in the corner and this is the micro doll who is supposed to live in this room this is Maya and she is new in this skin tone uh, well we'll have a look at the mini dolls and the micro doll at the end the moment we'll look at the building so next level up we have got this once again this one is now predominantly yellow with some blue decoration on the front so the opposite of the floor below I like the inclusion of the three panel door pieces with the white behind them they just look really nice they add some detailing and some really nice articulation the roof is detachable with solar panels on it and on the inside we have a little tiny bathroom which has been just mostly tiled but there are still some some nice exposed studs there so that you can see a mini doll on there a stand one on there and I like the detail with this bed this is the first time we have seen in Lego friends anyway a bed that is actually a built bed a tile bed rather than a stickered decoration bed and I'm pretty sure the home alone set had those same style of beds so we might see them quite a bit more now these ones the corner apartments are the most interesting ones to look at I think because they're I mean architecturally they're more interesting build wise they were really interesting to build it was like a rudimentary creator expert kind of build it was yet yeah, reminiscent of doing the uh, uh, the assembly set the creator assembly set anyway down here we've got the corner shop there are lots of accessories included in this set and we've got lots of food pieces now too uh the the sign on this just wiggles a little bit from side to side but it's not yeah it's not a real problem it doesn't go very far okay on the inside as you can see this is quite pokey because you've got to have the supports in different places because it is a corner shop so you do still have room to get in if I grab Harper in her wheelchair again because like she's gonna need the biggest 
biggest amount of space to move around she can get in there pretty fine so we've still got some room plus it but it's it's yeah kitted out really well got juices and tins and honey on one on one shelf here at the front we got eggs there's pineapples there's apples there's bread there's also so much good stuff and in here we've got some paddle pops and in the other side of the freezer section there's some sushi with the new sushi print on it why that's in the freezer baffled me when I was building it and it still baffles me now because nobody was able to tell me that anyone why is the sushi Sushi in the freezer. Anyway, got a couple of cereals that are, uh, are stickered cereal pieces, but once again, they are a generic style sticker, which you can use in just about anything. Lego Friends is going in a different direction, I think, more like Lego Friends City, which I like. I don't want Lego Friends to lose its character. I don't think it will, uh, but anyway, we'll see. So next level up is predominantly purple with oh, yellow windows, which is just a fabulous color. <laughs> <laughs> color combination isn't it oh my gosh and these rounded windows which we first saw in Andrea's house get a stained glass effect we've got purple scroll pieces which are new in this color and it just looks amazing this is my favorite level I think and it's so pokey and quaint inside this is Dottie's so grandma apartment she's got a picture in here there's a little dog bowl which is a really cute way to there was a cat bowl in the other one which I failed to mention but <laughs> you can see it uh, yeah she's got a picture of her grandkids in here we've got a whole whole little kitchen on the side uh, there's this coffee pot on the back love the tall plant in the stained glass window section and every single piece of this furniture apart from the dog bowl can be popped out and rearranged the more I built this the more like the whole thing the more it became clear that this is designed to be an actual physical playable doll's house because none of the furniture is built into position everything except for the physical walls can be moved and mixed around this like this is my like my dream dollhouse kind of idea like, you guys finally made it and on the top is a little rooftop garden which is so cute and the architecture on the outside let's just move Dottie out of the way so we can see what's in here the architecture on the outside is once again I mean it, it's like more complex creator expert builds and I love to see that. I want to see more of that in Lego Friends. I adore the chicken hutch. It is absolutely adorable. We got the new uh, watering can piece here, some detachable detachable uh, outdoor settings, and <laughs> carrot, carrot plot, which I've just knocked over that carrot. That's okay. It was ready to be picked anyway. Do you pick carrots? You pull them from the ground. Anywho, the whole corner section is amazing and just trying to figure out how to configure trying to figure out how to configure this is gonna is gonna take me a long time to decide how I want it all set up but anyway it also comes with a moving truck I love the fact that on the side you've got some skates roller skates as the door handles <laughs> worked into the, the build there there's room inside for one mini doll which is fine it doesn't need to have two I really like the fact that this is quite small and self-contained and there's a moving crate here of kitchen stuff with the new fork mold in here somewhere I've just put the extra ones in here as well because you get a couple of forks but according to the instruction you're only supposed to put one in but hey you can fit all of those in so the moving truck is once again very generic in its design don't know what the DLC 22 stands for apart from downloadable content that makes no sense there's also a skateboard ramp which looks good but is not very functional the sticker on it which, which is graffiti like pranksy graffiti which we already saw on the dumpster in the restaurant this <laughs> this color scheme of the bin is hilarious in the vibrant coral it looks amazing whoever decided you wanted a trash can in vibrant coral I don't know but I applaud you I really like that okay let's have a look at the mini dolls because there are eight included in this set the most we've ever seen before in one set and a lot of diversity the first we see is Trevor who has got the new reddish brown skin tone and he is <laughs> He's resplendent in a white shirt with a coral uh, kerchief and some really nice lime green swirls all over it. The pictures show him in charge of the beauty salon and I love that for him. He's also joined in the set by Maya who is a micro doll. Sorry, I'm knocking everybody over. She's got what I thought was a new face print, but it's not. So she's got the same face print as Olivia, like little Olivia in the advent calendar, but it's on a darker skin tone. So she's got the uh, the Andrea skin tone here. Got a new print, very cute, on her dress. She's just adorable all over as well. And so many boys in this, so many males. I love it. This is Joshua. He, um, his face is, is not new. His hair's not new, but he does 
have a new color scheme for his top and his bottom as well with the uh, blue pants and the brown shoes and I have decided that these guys I mean even the pictures tell you that these guys are Lego's very first rainbow family and they're moving into the apartment and I love that so much <laughs> okay Dottie Dottie we've seen before not for a while though Dottie is wearing the same outfit that she has worn before it's a shame she doesn't get a new outfit she does have a new more generic grandma hairstyle rather than the cool shaved up the side one that she had before in the uh in the cafe but anyway you know we change her hairstyles Dottie is actually Evelyn and Ethan's grandma and this is Evelyn's the very first time we have seen her before she's got a nice very funky blue haircut new a new face print and a new new everything actually and she's the one who is supposed to be riding on the skateboard on the skateboard ramp that you can't actually ride on you can just sit the skateboard in the middle of it anyway new characters abound it's fantastic including a brand new Scotty dog the Scottish Terrier which just looks like a walking mop is so cute <laughs> but it's not too cutesy like a lot of the Lego friends animals are a little bit too cutesy this dude's not. This dude's really, really nice. We've also got the little kitten, the little orangey brown kitten that we've seen before. Uh, and there's a third animal. What's the third animal? Oh, that, oh, that's the chicken. Okay, so we don't need to worry about the chicken because we've already seen the chicken. Let's put these two <laughs> animals over here. What are we up to? We've got five. We've got Savannah. We've seen Savannah before in, oh, in quite a few sets last year. She is uh, visually impaired and she's wearing exactly the same outfit, but her hairpiece is brand new. And this was very, very exciting to me to see some hat with hair, hair hats, and these are all hard. So uh, often the Lego friends get rubbery hair molds. I haven't seen any so far this season. So all of the new hair pieces are designed to fit on minifigures as well too, I think. Her dog Goldie's included in this set. We've already seen her dog before. Doesn't hurt though. It's lovely to see him again. Her again? I don't know whether Goldie's a boy or a girl. <laughs> anyway, let's move them over. Have a look at the next mini doll, who is Harper, who I've used as our demonstration mini doll quite a bit here. She is, she's wearing a brand new top, a brand new uh, pants piece as well, the colour scheme for all of this is new. I really like her top with the stripes and it's kind of off the shoulder. Pink hat with a ready brown hair combo. Very nice recolor of this hair piece. And of course she needs her wheelchair so we put her back in there. Last up we have got Stephanie who is the only one of the Lego Friends girls actually included in this set, <laughs> which is interesting. She's wearing her new uh, default outfit. So she's, we're gonna see this outfit quite a bit I think in the future. But the most exciting part is this new hat hair combo which is a beanie with more wavy hair so her hair looks a lot more like it does in the actual series rather than the very straight hair she's had since the beginning of time. So this set is wonderfully big. It's not big enough yet in my estimation Lego Friends still deserves more but it is full of character, it's full of colour, it's full of life, it's full of heart, it's full of stories waiting to be told. Lego hasn't told you the stories, they haven't dictated what's happening here, that's, that's up to us so it's really exciting. I actually want to separate this a bit and make little laneways in between and have interesting things happening in the laneways. I've got a lot of plans for the future of this set. But I also wanted to mention a lot of people have a problem with the high price point for this, especially in comparison with other Lego sets, uh, especially the Creator Expert sets. Yeah, and I was thinking about that and I was also thinking about the fact that this is actually a high quality doll's house. And if you look at it that way, like externally to other Lego, if you compare it to other high quality doll's houses like Lundby or Sylvanian families, the price of this is actually not that high. Other companies, other businesses make doll's houses and just sell the houses and then you have to sell the furniture, buy the furniture and you have to buy the characters. With this you have got it all happening in one set. It is a micro city. It's a massive doll's house, high quality doll's house, all in one box and even better you get to build it yourself. So I just thought it was worth looking at it from a different angle, not just comparing Lego with Lego. This is com yeah, comparing this with other things on the market that, well, there is nothing else quite like it on the market and that's what makes it so exciting. All right, I've loved building this set. 